Edirjofer was a Brazilian professional boxer, and architect who was both bantamweight, and featherweight world champion. In 2019, he was voted the 16th greatest boxer of all time, which made him the third greatest living boxer, behind only Roberto Duran, and Sugar Ray Leonard, by the International Boxing Research Organization. In 2002, he was named the 19th greatest fighter of the past 80 years by The Ring magazine. In 1996, he was rated the 9th greatest boxer of the previous 50 years. He is ranked number 85 on Ring magazine's 100 greatest punchers of all time list. In 1992, Jofer was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota, New York, and remains the only Brazilian thus honored. Jofer represented his native country at the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. First round by defeated Thane Mint, Burma, on points. Lost to Claudio Barrientos, Chile, on points. Eder Jofer, a son of Aristides Jofer, whose nicknames, Eders, were Galinho de Ouro, equals Golden Bantam, and Jofrinho, made his professional debut on March 23, 1957, beating Raul Lopez by knockout in five rounds. He had 12 fights in 1957, including two each against Lopez, Oswaldo Perez, and Ernesto Miranda, the last of whom against whom Jofer sustained his first two record stains, two 10-round draws, ties. In 1958, Jofer won four more fights, and then, on 14th of May of that year, he had his first fight abroad, drawing in 10 rounds against Ruben Caceres in Montevideo, Uruguay. On 14th of November, Jose Smeca became the only man to drop Jofer in his career, Jofer got up from a first round knockdown to knock Smeca out in 7 rounds. Jofer won 8 fights in 1959, including one against two-time world title challenger Leo Espinosa, and a 7th round knockout in a rematch with Caceres. On February 19, 1960, he fought Ernesto Miranda for the third time, this time with the South American bantamweight title on the line. Jofer outpointed Miranda over 15 rounds to win his first title as a professional. Jofer retained the title with a knockout in three rounds in the fourth fight with Miranda, and, after one more win, he made his U.S. debut, defeating top-ranked challenger Jose Metal by knockout in 10 rounds on 16th of August in Los Angeles. Next, he defeated the power-punching Ricardo Moreno, later ranked among boxing's all-time best punchers by Ring Magazine, by a knockout in the sixth round. On 18th of November of that year, Jofer became world champion, when he knocked out Aloy Sanchez in six rounds, in Los Angeles, to claim the vacant WBA World Bantamweight title. Jofer proved to be a busy world champion, fighting top-notch fighters, both in title engagements, and in non-title fights. From 1960 to 1965, he retained his title against Piero Rolo, Ramon Arias, in Caracas, Venezuela, Johnny Caldwell, Herman Marx, Jose Medel, Katsuyoshi Aoki, in Tokyo, Johnny Gemito, in Manila, and Bernardo Carabao, in Bogota, Colombia. In addition, he defeated such fighters as Billy Peacock, Sadao Yaita, and Fernando Soto in non-title bouts. After the fight with Aoki, Jofer was also recognized as world bantamweight champion by the WBC, therefore, becoming the undisputed world champion. On May 17, 1965, his streak as an undefeated fighter was broken when he lost to fighting Harada by a controversial 15-round split decision in Nagoya, Japan, to lose the world bantamweight title. After losing to Harada by unanimous decision at a rematch held in Tokyo on June 1, 1966, Jofer retired. In 1969, he made a comeback, beating Rudy Corona by a knockout in six rounds on 26 August. After winning 13 fights in a row, he challenged for a world title once again. On May 5, 1973, he fought Jose Legra for the lineal, and WBC featherweight titles, in Brasilia. Jofer became a two-division world champion by defeating Legra with a 15-round majority decision. Despite having won his second world title, Jofer realized he was nearing the end of the road as far as his boxing career was concerned. He defeated Frankie Crawford in a non-title affair, and defended his world featherweight title against fellow former world bantamweight champion Vicente Saldivar of Mexico, in a super fight held at Salvador. He knocked Saldivar out in four rounds. After a string of fights against lesser opponents, he retired, having beaten the Mexican Octavio Gomez by a unanimous but controversial decision, 120 to 110 by Judge Antonio D, 119 to 115 by Judge Adriano Corallo and 117-116 by Judge Americo Vieira, 
in Sao Paulo on October 8, 1976. In this last fight, Jofre was slow, and uncertain, and himself put in doubt the correctness of the arbiter's decision, Digamo que de serem, EU now vence famoso Gomez he said to the Rio de Janeiro newspaper O Globo. Jofre had a record of 72-2-4, 50 KOs, making him a member of the exclusive group of boxers who have won 50 or more fights by knockout. Jofre worked in politics, serving as an alderman for the city of Sao Paulo for 16 years. He then worked for Dursa, a state-owned company, working with the highways of Sao Paulo. In 2004, a DVD of Jofre's life titled O Grand Campo was released. On Jofre's 85th birthday, in 2021, the first English-language biography of his life was released. The book titled Eder Jofre, Brazil's First Boxing World Champion, by family friend, and author Christopher J. Smith won the Book of the Year at the West Coast Boxing Hall of Fame in October 2021 at the Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood, California. Present at the event was Jofer, and his son, Marcel, and daughter, Andrea. Jofer was in Los Angeles to be inducted into the West Coast Boxing Hall of Fame, and on this trip he revisited the site of his Bantamweight world title victory, the Olympic Auditorium, his first visit to the venue since that evening on November 18, 1960. Jofre occasionally came out of retirement to fight exhibitions. Some of his more noteworthy exhibitions were against Servilio de Oliveira, and Alexis Arguello. In 2010, at age 74, Jofre, a physical fitness fanatic who was still the reflection of great health, put out a calisthenics video. Jofre was a vegetarian. He has been described as one of the few vegetarians ever to win a boxing world championship. He became a vegetarian at the age of 20 after reading a book that stated meat consumption was unhealthy for the body. Jofre adhered to a strict vegetarian diet from the age of 20, and commented in 2019 I even feel disgust today when I see people eating meat. I eat pasta, rice, and beans, boiled potatoes or fried, and very sporadically egg. I drink milk, yogurt, curds, and honey. Jofre suffered from chronic traumatic encephalopathy, he was hospitalized in March 2022 at a clinic in Ambudasartes because of pneumonia. He died on 2nd of October due to complications from the disease. He was 86. Jofer has a professional record of 78 fights, with 72 wins, 2 losses, and 4 draws.